<laughs> hey everyone, so I'm here with Alex Hyde from uh, CEO of Refra. Yep. Um, had a chance this morning to get a tour visit and see really how they assemble a lot of their natural refrigerant products, chillers, heat pumps, and refrigeration systems with different natural refrigerants. But you know, in the conversations that we've had, I've, I've, got, a real, I've got a much better sense of what is Refra? You know, what makes them a little bit different? What, what makes them tick? And in particular, what makes him tick? You know, what drives him? And, um, you know, he's a very creative guy, very detailed guy, I have to say. He's quite impressed. Met quite a few CEOs in my time. And, uh, and it's always a pleasure to meet some new, young, dynamic uh, leaders in the industry that we absolutely need to bring the industry forward. And, you know, one thing that in the conversations that we've had today is air conditioning. The holy grail, the big market, the one that we all want to capture with natural refrigerants. Uh, refrigeration kind of next to air conditioning of buildings. I'm not talking about process cooling, I'm talking about air conditioning. Cooling people um, is kind of the big market, the 99% of the market that appetizes refrigeration. Now you've clearly got expertise in refrigeration, right? And in heat pumps and in chillers. But what could we do in your opinion you know, what is, can we, from a technology point of view, already implement air conditioning systems with natural refrigerants for office buildings today? Yes, because there is already a technology for that. So we don't, we need to go back from the direct expansion to the uh, water systems, like chillers, mm -hmm. water cool systems. Uh, Nordics are doing this for, for years already. Even with our 14A, when it was a uh, green refrigerator, yeah. I remember this one. Like a zone friendly one. Uh, Nordics are st were still working even on R forty nine, but not direct expansion. It was always chillers. Okay. And why so? Because it's easy to manage. Easy to manage. Water you, you, you don't need to get into the refrigeration part. Also, when you have from both sides water uh, or glyco or whatever other uh, liquid is there, uh, most of the problems are in the water side. Okay. Yeah, refrigeration, uh, I like to say that if it works for 10 hours, it will work for years. Okay. Why so? Because you just need to run it. So you, you've got an HVAC background. Before you joined Refra, you had some experience in HVAC. Yes. Yeah, so so you got to see how this. that industry is slightly different from the refrigeration industry. What are the big differences in your opinion? You, you know, what are the bottlenecks that you observed? Let's say, let's say like this. Um, in the HVAC business, normally there is a producer of the HVAC systems mm -hmm. yeah, and the end user. What is in the between? This is a lot of, um, how to say, sales guys who want to sell the system. In the refrigeration business, the sales guy is the engineer. Yeah. He is trying to solve the question which has the end user. How to, I have this, this and this machinery, how I should cool it down. So and less intermediaries. Yes. And in, 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 in HVC, it should be everything very easy. Yeah. Easy to handle, easy to install, easy to select. Uh, and also, always it's important to have a good price. Okay. So price, you're saying from a technology point of view, you think Refra, in your case, will be well positioned to capture that market as it comes. And there will be others in the market that will also offer solutions, already do. But, you know, price is a big problem, right? Because yes. you're, this is a volume business. We're not talking a few units. We're talking like tens of thousands yes. and a higher multiple. So how are you going to compete on the price with natural refrigerant for air conditioning? So you saw today that we already starting to uh, prepare for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so the first factory, which is working for 30 years, mm -hmm. there is a lot of people who are working for 20 years in the factory. They know the technology, that's why we're using them to build the non-standard machines for refrigeration. Yes. Yeah, uh, the HVAC is not about non-standard, it's about standardizing, yes. right? But the second factory mm. is coming in with the standardization part. Okay, okay. That means that we have the brochures, we have the selection softwares, we have the uh, price list for that. Yeah. So the customer uh, could be this HVAC customer who can select just by the kilowatts, by okay. the temperatures, okay. and give it to his customer. Yeah, but so the products make it themselves easy. will still be, you know, how do you work on, how do you innovate with partners to kind of reduce the price of the products themselves? Yeah, so we, we talked a bit uh, today about yeah. some of the technical yeah. things which uh, 
There's some it. cool stuff, but there's some cool stuff coming, by the way, that you're going to announce hopefully in Mostra and Chilvenza. Hopefully in Mostra. Yeah. If, yeah. if it's not in Mostra, it will be in Chilvenza, yeah, 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 but, yeah. but we are striving to, to show it in, in, in Mostra. Okay. Um, there is some new parts are coming from our suppliers. Yeah. So you're going to optimize that and you're going to be yes. able to improve the, the performance and the cost, right? Efficiency, firstly. Mm. And secondly, we can reduce the... Um, amount of components need, needed to the safety of the system. That means safety of the compressor. So, okay. so your uh, cooling or heating machine could work a lot longer years. Okay. So, all right. So, technology. Tick. It's possible to go for air conditioning, commercial industrial air conditioning, commercial air conditioning with naturals, right? Yeah, it's uh, yeah. that is that no for you is, that's kind is of no, like a non-issue. No difference from R forty eight to R two ninety except mm. that R two ninety GVP is. Yeah, yeah. Now, what, what's the other barrier? What's help? What's still holding people back? Is fear. it the, it's the fear of the refrigerant? Yes, fear, the fear of, of flammability. Of flammability. Yes. Okay. Wait, and how how are you working to solve that? How are you working to reassure people that actually it's not an issue if it's done properly? I see only one way, just to talk about it. Mm -hmm. oh talk a lot because uh, when we speak to the customers, say, oh, it's propane, it's flammable. But nobody thinks uh, what is what amount we're using in this uh, chillers, let's say. So what, what typical charge are we talking about here? Five to seven kilos. Five to seven kilograms? Yes. Per circuit? Per circuit. Okay. Up to 16, uh, this is, we're trying not to exceed that. Okay. We've standard for that, yeah? Okay, okay. Uh, if we are talking about the, um, Let's say I'm always I like to ask the question: Do you have a grill at home? Uh, do I? Yes, yes, I do. Yeah, I have a nice big propane <laughs> tank right so underneath. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is gas, yeah, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and there is Turn a it on and twenty it kilos, yeah, yeah. twenty kilos yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. tank yeah. next to it. Yeah. So when we are installing the refrigeration machine, we have. So that's a, a twenty kilo tank, and you're saying five to seven kilos. Yeah, five to seven. So, so, so half of it. Yeah, that's, half that's of it. a pretty big deal. Yeah, and it's, it's yeah. Yeah, it, when you put it in that perspective, clearly it's a lot, lot, lot less. And afterwards, right? you're using uh, your tank next to your grill yeah. in the refrigeration yeah. or, or yeah. air conditioning. Mm -hmm. Normally, chillers are where? On the roof. Yes. Nobody has yeah. the yeah. access to the roof. Nope. So, there is a lot less risk. To yeah, and there's a lot of safety clean. mitigation that's being put in place anyway. Okay. Yes. So, so the flammability, the fear of flammability, I mean, we know kind of why that is the issue. I mean, there are incumbents in this market that don't want a, 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 a natural refrigerators to take over because they will lose a business, a huge billion dollar industry. So clearly there's a lot of misinformation in the market there that's been there for decades and I think everyone kind of knows that. But beyond that, what else is, what are the other barriers that you're seeing that are preventing, um, you know, naturals from taking over HVAC like they are already with refrigeration? So again, uh, if we if we will take the Europe, European market, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Refra, uh, in comparison, is a very small company. Yep. Yeah. So um, all the big players, uh, all the players around, 90, 95 percent, they have all the big machines with R thirty two, and for them is is a new refrigerant R thirty two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, still, we are using a lot of old systems R forty nine. Yeah. Well, why so? Because okay, for big players, it's not so easy to change as for us. We can change faster and, and uh, catch this change you, with the naturals. So you think there's a real opportunity for Refra to put Refra on the map? Yes, but uh, the point is that they are doing it in scale. Yeah. 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 And in scale, it's a lot yeah. cheaper. Yeah. That means that sometimes we're uh, we're competing within the different product in a mm -hmm. different level mm -hmm. at the moment. Yeah, mm -hmm. We've, we're trying to get the same price, but not always it's possible. Sure. So I think the start of the technology, uh, if everybody uh, will care about this technology and yeah. try to push it in. So I would say that we could work on the less margin on this product yeah, sure. to put uh, our planet in, in a bit, bit better way. But I also think it's going to be important that the end users buying these units also understand that there are other companies, there's a healthy ecosystem of competing companies with natural yeah. treatment solutions. But we are you're not, not the only, only ones. One. So you've got some competitors yeah. across uh, Europe that work they, in this. They come more and more competitors. Uh, yeah, and, and that will show that there's choice. 
Yes, and, and, and then based on that, then the customer, the end user has options based on his or her needs and price and what their strategies are, they can adapt accordingly. So that should help kick things off. And if it's anything like the refrigeration market, you know, five, 10 years from now, you know, most of your business right now is refrigeration, right? Five, 10 years from now, or heat pumps? I would, I would say 50-50, yeah. yeah. At the moment, so where, do you, where's the HVAC part? How much of your market do you think will be your market in 20, 2030 from now? You know, like a few years down the line, like seven years, four, six years from now? I would like to believe that it will come until the 80% of the business. So you actually see this as the core future business for yes, you? Yes, yes. And, and it should. And, and you're, you're a Lithuanian-based company. Yes. Um, you have business across most of Europe. You have business as far as Australia. You're obviously, you've got a lot of interest in, in the US market. Um, do you see yourselves over the next few years, because you're, 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 you're little known, but you're highly ambitious. Um, and you've got a really young, dynamic leadership team that has a lot of knowledge and a clear vision and alignment there. Do you, do, you, do, you, do you see yourselves kind of like going global with this? Or yes. you, you only see yourself really kind of staying on the European, which is not exactly a small market, but do you see potential outside yeah, Europe? Coming back to our conversation about um, where we are today and where we want to go. So today we know that we are quite a small company. But, uh, You're not that small. I mean, I've seen the numbers. You're not that small. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but, but, but I, yeah, this perspective. I would say yeah, that absolutely. we are in, not... in scale of Europe. Sure, uh, sure. We're still not in the middle. No, case, no, yeah? no, no. So, but you're getting uh, there. You're getting there. So our striving is uh, okay. We are very optimistic in this. Yeah, yeah. And we would like to in the next ten years to to come to push with the big guys in in, in the market. All right. But uh, I think that uh, that's this, a message. <laughs> the, the, this cha this change. Uh, which is happening at the moment yeah. from R14A, R32, 1234 yeah. ZE, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, to propane, propylene, isobutane, yeah. CO2, yeah. ammonia. Yeah, yeah, because uh, you also have a variety of uh, uh, natural, you also work with ammonia, you've got a little bit of ammonia in there yeah, as part of the very, plan, very but, but then you've got CO2, but the core has been around hydrocarbons. But at still, the moment, yes. But you see across the board, so you, you're open to other natural refrigerant solutions, right? Yes, so yeah. we are quite developing now mm -hmm. the another step yeah. uh, from propane. I already yeah. talked yeah. about Yeah, we're not allowed we, to talk about that yet. We, we, we showed, uh, showed last chiller the uh, propylene yeah. chiller yeah, yeah. when everybody was standing with uh, propane. Yeah. We showed that there is another refrigerant. So, so for you, it's important to show that you're not, you know, don't take this wrongly, but you're not kind of like a low cost manufacturer from Eastern Europe, right? You're actually someone, you're not for you're Northern Europe, Baltic states, you're kind of like, you're coming with this a lot of innovation. You're bringing new solutions that are the market that others aren't bringing yet, right? Yes, but so uh, this, again, this is important for we you, right? also, as part of your DNA, right? The company DNA. You want to see this innovative. We also try to, to put the, the, the cost in it sure. because it's important to change the system. Yeah. Sure. Uh, if if you will have the offer like R32, uh, like 100,000 euro, yeah. and uh, prepare 150,000 yeah. euro. Yeah, your you choices. Your choice is ob obvious. Yeah, 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 Even yeah. if in COP, or you can win in five years. Almost forty thousand euros. Okay, okay. Yeah, but in any case, that this first price is, is so really price is always going to be key. But you want to back that up with quality and yes. innovation, right? Yes. The, the, yeah. This is the, the point of our company that everything what we do, we want to uh, finalize it, uh, like design wise, mm. should be nice to see. Yeah. Uh, sound wise, it should be quiet because yeah. that's why we have in standard our uh, sound insulation. Yeah. Each yeah. machine. Yeah. yeah. No, we, we don't offer open machine no. in this case. No. Uh, if you want to have the good efficiency, the propane is also very good for efficiency. Because mm -hmm. if you will check R14A directly with the propane, compressor to compressor, you will see the difference in the same point. Mm. And, and, and there's going to be some exciting innovations around propane products. <laughs> and I won't say any more coming this year that, you know, that will be really cool to hear because that's, a, that's, a, that's going to be a step up as well. So it's only going to improve, right? Yeah, so we worked quite a, yeah. a long time. We yeah. didn't release a lot of things except the heat pump because yeah. there was urge yeah. to release it. Yeah. Uh, but I think 2024 for us will be the, uh, quite a lot of releases yeah. of the new things which yeah. we developed by ourselves, which yeah. we developed with our partners, partners right? Yeah. Uh, with our suppliers. Uh, we really glad to have this kind of partnerships with our suppliers because uh, we feel a very big support. 
that we can present this news this year. Okay, all right. Well, it'll be exciting to see some announcements at Mostra in March and obviously Chilventa later in the year where we're all going to be in October, which is the natural refrigerants party of the year, right? Yes. It's the trade show that everyone wants to go to. I, I so. hope the, uh, this year will be even more uh, guys with the propane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, even last time around, it was yeah, like it propane was everywhere. Quite a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for sure, for sure. They take, the propane has taken over. So, uh, it'll, all right. Well, good luck. Good luck. Thank you. And uh, a pleasure.